guys, welcome back to my guys, channel. Guys, I'm going to be showing you on how to set up a bird cage. Now, if you're going to get a pet bird, you need to make sure to set it up correctly. Now, of course, having a pet bird, you need to make sure you have toys, food, food bowls and feeders, the right cage, and yeah. So let's talk about the cage first. Now, for the cage, I actually have a video all about it, so... And so here, I'm going to put the video link in the description so you can go watch that about the size. And for toys, of course, having bird toys is very important for their physical, mental, and f entertainment because birds can't have TVs in their cage. Not allowed, not allowed. Please, please don't do that, okay? If I see your, if I come to your house and see if your birdcage has a TV inside of it, I'm going to be confused. Like, what? So, yeah. So, for toys, make sure to get wood toys, metal toys, and as you can see, our birds are talking. And, as you can see, Barry is inside this coconut shell, and you should get birdhouses. No, do not get these snuggle huts. Snuggle huts with fiber, with the fibers are not good so ladders perches very important perches swings mirrors now why am i saying mirrors mirrors are very dangerous do not put them in your bird cage of course when you take your bird out once or twice uh like rarely take your bird out and show it to a mirror birds get very happy when you show them with a mirror so that so yeah for toys that there isn't that much make sure your bird has ladders lots of perches swings forging toys entertainment toys like little strings or things that they can nibble on and remember they shouldn't be eating the toys because that's not good birdhouses like barry is he's our little demonstrate demonstration dude here he is in the birdhouse in the background, as you can see. Aw, he's so cute. I built that birdhouse. I just got it from the dollar store. And, and yeah, it was very simple. If you want me, I could make a YouTube short about it. So, subscribe. <laughs> no, like. If this video gets 100 likes, I'll make a video about it. So, that's about to Now, let's get into the deep part. Um, so we were talking just about toys, right? Now we're going to have to talk about safety. Your bird needs to have some safety in its cage. Remember, as when I made that cage, the perfect cage video for your feathers friend, that's the title of the video, I've been talking about mostly about the size. Now for sizes, yes. You can build your own bird cage, but you need to be extremely careful. And the, for the safety, make sure when you're going to get a bird, either get two birds, one bird, and three birds. That's it. You can't have a hundred birds inside. Even this size of a cage. This size, cage is like big, but still, a hundred birds in that cage is not going to be good. So don't get 100 birds and crowd them all together because that's not good for their health. And they will all fight together to make sure one person owns that. What is that? See that light over there? Hold on. Oh, why does my iPad only see it? That light. What? My iPad can see better than me. Okay, anyways. So yeah, um, make sure your bird has warmth. That is very important. I made, should you get a bird cage heater? Here's the video to it, but I'll give you a quick about it. Make sure to watch the video. Are you going to watch the video? You sure? Okay. So you need to make sure your bird is warm in the winter time. And right now it is mi winter, midwinter. It actually just snowed and it's actually still snowing outside. So winter. And while our birds are going to continuously talk in the background. 
Um, yeah, so really there isn't that much stuff, and now I'm going to show you on how to set it up. Placement is key, everyone. Placement is the key to success. Look, look at where I'm putting this coconut, at the edge of the cage. Do not put your coconuts in the middle of the cage. No birdhouse should be ever in the middle of the cage. Swings. Find a low height for them. Some birds like it very high. Our birds like it lower, so a lower swing. Ladders. This was actually for the built-in playground. We have to take it out because it was winter and we we're having them right now. It's kind of small, so the ladder, I used it. And birds. You need to make sure your birds are enjoying. Lots and lots of perches. What is this doing down here? I don't even know how this came down here, but our birds are smart enough to do that. Toys, look. Toy over here. This is a toy. Toy in the back corner. That's why they're over there. They like to play. Cage eater. Make sure if you have more than one bird, you add more perches because your birds will fight for heat. More perches. Side perches. Middle perches. More perches. Bottom, see, um, this is another perch over here. Sorry, yeah. So there's lots and lots of perches. Lots and lots of perches. There's a perch in the corner. Yeah, see that? There's a perch in the corner. So you just need to map out, like, everything for your bird to make sure placement is the perfect thing. Now, installing toys, you need to make sure where they are placed because if they're all, like, up there and none of them are down here. Your bird's gonna spend time up there and not down here. For safety, we got a camera. If you haven't watched our camera video yet, you should definitely go watch that. Our cage has dual locks. If your cage only has this, then you should definitely invest in another lock because these locks aren't very secure. Like your bird, if your bird is very smart, it can get out. So yeah, for and we have these doors here in case our birds want to leave. These are actually for our food and water bowls. And I'm going to actually clean their food bowl today. The water bowl today, I meant. Because our birds completely ruined it. We give them coriander. They very they love it so much and they completely ruined this. I it was literally clean this morning. Good thing they didn't drink from it, so good thing I'm recording this video. I'm going to definitely clean that. And yeah, safety food bowls. If your bird makes a mess, you can always get one of those attachments that, you know, we had it before. We had it before. We took it down. Took too much space. Make sure your birds are chilling, having fun, like this man over here. I don't understand why Harry doesn't like to go up here, but Barry loves it, so... Yeah, and that's really all it. That's all you need to know about setting up the perfect cage. Placement is a very important thing. And if you're having this type of wood, you should always, you know, anchor it down like this. Since this is the wood that we found, why, why invest on so many purchases from the store when you have a million pieces of wood? We're just using some um, bread clips, some metal wires. These are solid wires, not stranded. And yeah, that's all it really. So thank you for watching the video guys and I'll catch you on in the next one. Bye.